Construction is well underway on the 9.1-mile Foothill Gold Line light rail project from Glendora to Pomona, which will extend the Metro Gold Line, currently called the L Line, from its current terminus at the Citrus College APU station in Azusa to the cities of Glendora, San Dimas, Laverne, and Pomona. The project started major construction in July 2020 and is on track to be completed in 2025 when the four-station extension will be turned over to LA Metro for pre-revenue service. 19 bridges are being built new or renovated as part of the project. Some are for the new light rail system, but others are for the relocated freight system. These two systems will share the rail corridor, but will run on their own tracks and require their own bridges. Most of the bridges will carry the trains over small channels and waterways. However, there are four new bridges being built solely for the new light rail system that will carry trains over major streets, three in the city of Glendora and one in the city of San Dimas. Each is required by the California Public Utilities Commission for safety. This video will focus on the largest of these four new light rail bridges, the one being built over Lone Hill Avenue in Glendora, and cover why the bridge is needed, what it will look like, and the timeline for its construction. We design and build the project to full capacity, which means there will be approximately 200 trains going through the intersection per day. While that provides future passengers access to use the system 20 to 22 hours a day, it requires special attention to the traffic impact that would occur at each crossing. During the planning and design of the project, all of the grade crossings have to be reviewed and approved by the California Public Utility Commission, the regulatory authority that oversees and approves all grade crossings with railroads. They required this grade crossing to be grade separated to ensure safety for all the motorists, the pedestrians, and the riders of the light rail system. The bridge at Lone Hill Avenue is different than any other bridge being built between Glendora and Pomona. While the freight trains will remain at street level, the bridge will cross over the freight tracks. We call it a flyover. It's the location where the freight actually switches from the south side of the alignment to the north side of the alignment to continue serving their customers. It's the longest bridge we have on the project. It's 344 feet long. The clearance of the bridge from the roadway to the bottom of the bridge is 24 feet. The top of the bridge is approximately 35 feet. And because of that, there are ramps that approach the bridge on both sides. The west approach is 750 feet long and the east approach is 1,200 feet long. We hired an alignment artist to design the bridge. All three of the bridges in Glendora have the same design elements and it's based on a citrus theme because of the history of citrus throughout the region. These design elements are on the abutment, the superstructure, the barrier rail, the columns, and on the approach walls to the bridge. We have taken a lot of time to make sure that a bridge is just not a bridge. Customized tiles, colors that are embedded. Having some of that citrus artwork on it and a lot of detail complements our citrus heritage. It's going to be a work of art. Construction on the new light rail bridge over Lone Hill Avenue has been underway since October 2021 and is expected to be complete in December 2022. The first major hurdle we needed to do was relocate a gas line. After utilities were relocated, we moved the freight track over to get it into its final place. This allowed us to start the 80 foot deep drilled shafts. The equipment set up right in the middle. We had to just make just enough room for the traffic to get by on the sides. And we drilled these through the night, brought in a crane that could set the rebar cage in the hole in the middle of the night. So in the daytime, they could still run traffic and be safe. The bridge being so high, plus the thickness of the bridge itself, we had to build what we call the approach ramps. Behind us, we have retaining walls, and so we basically stack these almost like Legos. They get straps that hold it all together underneath, and it's compacted as we go. These are built in layers, and they keep doing one layer after another as they get closer to the bridge. The false work is nearing completion right now. The false work is what's going to hold up the concrete forms to pour the superstructure of the bridge. The wood forms are there to contain the concrete and the false work is what supports it all. Until the concrete dries, cures, and reaches the proper strength, we have to keep the false work in place. We'll be pouring all that concrete through summer, all the way through summer. So once the false work comes down, we're able to start the construction of the other approach ramp and then we tie the approach ramps to the edge of the bridge, and then we start laying track. 
Because this was such a busy street, the Gold Line had to get together with the cities ahead of time and agree. They agreed that we would build this under lane closures and only be allowed nine full closures. That level of coordination and communication had to happen up front so we could plan our work on how to build this thing. So one of the ways we get the word out is with our construction notice. The construction notice gets out to the community, to the residents, uh, and to the businesses that show the detour map. It shows the times when the construction's occurring, when the detour's starting, when the road's gonna be closed and reopened again. The businesses have told us they really appreciate what the Gold Line has done, that they have uh, community relations staff, ourselves, coming out, talking with them, explaining what's happening. They know about it ahead of time. Lone Hill is a major thoroughfare in the city of Glendora because there you have the intersection of two freeways and you also have two shopping centers, auto dealers in addition to the Walmart. As a gateway point within our city, that is critical to keep that flow. For all those people coming and going from all of those various places, they won't have to stop for the gold line and the train will be able to quickly pass through and take its passengers to the next stop. Our city is a place to live, work and play and this is going to amplify that 10 times. I can imagine that residents will hop on the train, go to Pasadena and they'll have an opportunity to invite guests and friends to meet them in Glendora, to dine at our restaurants, to go to our movie theater. We've been planning for several years now around the station, around the downtown. So there's people that are living there that are going to have premier ability to access that train. They know that the station's going to be there, the train is going to be there. We are excited to welcome the Goal Line here to town. To be able to take a means of transportation that gets cars off the road and that we're helping the environment by finding a better way to move people from point A to point B. The journey has continued and it's continuing in and through the city of Glendora. To get updates in your inbox about construction activities on Lone Hill Avenue or anywhere else on the project that may impact you, visit www.foothillgoldline.org to sign up for construction alerts or to view current and upcoming construction activities on an interactive map. You can also follow the project on Facebook, Twitter, or iwillride.org.